Howdy, it's Matt, and the uh, missus is here as well for this one, my helping hands. She's not saying anything. Uh, in this episode, what you're going to learn, we are going to be soldering up a Omnibus F3. No, let me get this right. A Omnibus uh, V2 board uh, with the power connectors. So you'll see that I've been soldered it up there on the board. And we've got the grain on the bottom. We've got one XT60 connector there, which then goes onto our, our ESC. And we've got the supply voltage or from our battery just there. So that's what we're going to be doing in this episode. Uh, I'm going to leave this as raw as I can for you so you can see what actually happens in real life. And it also means that you can follow along as well with your build. So let's put that one out of the way. That's one which I've already done. I've got a brand new board just here. Uh, just give you a quick heads up on the components which I've got kicking around. I've got one of those little holdy stands because the missus won't hold it while I'm soldering it. Chicken. <laughs> I got a pair of wire nippers. Uh, I've got well wire strippers. I've got a pair of wire nippers as well. I've got two XT60 connectors, one female and one male. Two of the uh, little covers on there as well. Uh, a soldering pen, and I've also got now what gauge is this wire? I've got some 14 AWG gauge uh, wire as well. So. Let's kick off. Uh, the first thing which I'm going to do is earth. Now, what I'm going to do is actually plan this out uh, on the desk. Let me move this camera back a bit. So I'll probably just get me a hand in the way. I'm actually just going to plan this out on the desk. What I want uh, is a nice uh, loop to go around here. So this is where the, I'm assuming this is where the battery is going to be connected uh, in the model. And that looks about the right kind of distance. So I'm just going to nip it off there. Uh, hey, is there a ruler uh, kicking around which we can just roughly measure these so anybody following along can uh, thank you beautiful. So this is approximately 8 inches long. Brilliant. So that one's 8 inches. So we also need the red wire for 8 inches. You prefer 12, don't you? So I'm just duplicating the red wire. You don't so, always get what you want in life. I know. <laughs> right, so I've got a red wire, 14 AWG cable, uh, and a black one, both about eight inches long. Right. Uh, so that will be our two. So they'll both go up around onto the board. Now, the, the, the thing which I like to do with mine is actually cheat, is that I make this little Y connector like so. Uh, so that we can then take the ground wire round to our, our ESC. So we have full ground wire going across to the bottom of the board. Uh, and then we've got a full uh, size cable which goes round to the ESC connector. So to do that, all I'm going to do is put the board down. Again, I'm just mocking it up here. So we've got the ground which goes around there like so. Uh, and then I'm going to go about two inches up the cable. And how long was the other one? I'm just going to use the other one to cheat actually. The other one is about that long, so the other piece of cable which I'm going to chop off is about three and a half inches long. Just nip that off. So what I'm now going to go and do is match that up to there, and that is where, so you can see on there, that's where I want to go and splice these cables. Now to do that is the, the other tool which I kind of missed was a knife. And all I'm going to go and do is just quick, lightly roll that on top of the cable. And again, the idea is that we want to pierce the uh, black silicone covering and not slice the cable. And I'm just going to cut across on top of there. I hope that came out right on the camera. I'm just going to peel this off out of the way. Oh, we also need some heat shrink as well. The uh, far better half has been in grab some. Now, a little tip for you. I am just poking the knife down the middle. And then I'm going to bend it to one side. So I've been and created that. So I can poke the wire, the joining wire, in between those. So I'm just going to leave that in there a moment. Where's the uh, other black cable? I'm just going to strip that off the end, like so. Twist that around. And I'm going to poke that down inside of there. There we go. So we've got a nice T connection going on there. And then I'm going to fold that round, and then I'm going to twist those cables like so. So we have 
Uh, a real nice, oh, there's a little wire just poking out. There you go. As you can see on there, we've got a really nice connection uh, between the two wires. I'm just going to lean that down, get the uh, flux pen, which is the wrong way up for you. There you go, flux pen. Give it a damn good dose. Grab the soldering iron and some solder. I'm, of course, using lead solder. Uh, we like the uh, healthy stuff. Let's get this down and around. And again, I'm just using one of these little uh, coffee coasters, which uh, works fantastically well. Just going to bleed lots and lots of solder uh, into there. Like so. And I'm not holding back the amount of solder. And then what I'm going to do is turn it over and then you'll see that I've kept the solder and iron underneath. And then I'm going to let it warm up. So he says. And I'll get it stuck on there. There we go. There we go. That's a fantastic joint on there. We'll just let that cool down a moment. Now we've got a bit of heat shrink. Thank you, beautiful. I'm going to pop that on the end. And obviously you would normally wait for that to cool down a bit. Uh, and there you go. So we've got some heat shrink on there. You've got the heat gun as well, pop it. We'll uh, pop that on there. And I'm going to stick the heat gun on there a mo. We'll get that shrunk down. Thank you. And obviously I'm doing that off camera at the moment. Thank you. There we go. So there you go. There's the uh, joiner on there. That's come out really nicely. Uh, that's the red wire and happy days. What do we need to do from here? That's the black wire. The black wire, yeah. I noticed I made a screw up on one of the other videos that I said something was something else. Oh, you know what I mean anyway, so let's move those out of the way. I quickly do the red wire as well. Right. So all I've done is just strip the ends off the wires and now I'm going to go and pre-tin them. Uh, so that basically means that we're just going to give it a nice good dose of solder uh, and so that when we get round to soldering it on the actual uh, board itself it just makes it as easy as just heating it up and then it connects. And of course uh, you would have seen in a previous episode I've already been and pre-tinned the board as well uh, on the pads themselves. So let's just get in there, fill it up with loads and loads of solder. Get that one out of the way. Just gonna do that one as well. Filling that up too. Brilliant. Let's do the uh, live two. And we are actually missing one red wire. And the reason why I've not done that one just yet is because I'm not entirely sure what the exact length is gonna be. So we do need one. The idea is, is that we have the battery connector come around and it goes uh, into the bat plus and then we take another live wire red wire round to our ESC connector but until we solder it up we don't know what length it's going to be so with that said let's go and get the connector the XT60 connector soldered up now we'll do that first turn that round again I'm just stripping the ends off the cables like so and again I'm sure you've done this before and forgotten to put the connectors on the end, uh, the covering on the end. If you've got the XT60s with the connectors, obviously if you've got the XT60 with, uh, which doesn't have the little cover on the end, you'll want to stick some heat shrink tubing down the end. And right, so we need the battery connector one on here. And this is where having a lovely assistant comes in very helpful because uh, it makes doing this a lot blooming easier. Now I always like to start with the positive side first. So that's the flat side on the XT60 connector and then you'll notice that I've given it a dose not only on the cable itself but I've also been and given the actual connector a dose as well so beautiful can you hold that and I need to get in there and this is always great fun trying to do stuff on the iPad my arm's going to be in the way no it's all good so I'm just putting the nib of the solder and iron in there first Right, let's clean that end up, put that in there. Now what I'm going to do is just take it out, again apologies for the shadows in there, is that uh, try and make this as easy as possible for us. There we go, you can hold that there, thank you. Solder and iron around. 
and you'll see me just getting in there with the soldering iron heating the end up and then feeding it in come on These XT60 connectors generally do need quite a bit of solder on them, uh, so there, these aren't like a quick go. It's, it's that tab and off you go. You've got to fill up the holes actually inside the connectors itself. So there's the finished product. I hope that's in focus. There you go. Happy days. So I'm just going to push the lid down. That's really hot. Brilliant. Right. Let's uh, go and get the earth on the bottom of the board. So it doesn't matter which one of those black wires you choose, as uh, long as it is black. And then we're going to turn the board upside down, and then we're going to go and get that soldered onto the bottom of the board. Got the solder and iron again, and you cannot see that very well. So apologies. Hope that's coming. Yeah, you can see what I'm doing here now. I'll just tap on the camera so it goes into focus for you. Again, I have already been in pre-tinned uh, those tabs. Again, just waiting for the heat to get through. Can you pull that board up straight, please? There, it's gone. Just give a blow on it to cool it down. No, apologies, my finger was in the way. All I did was just put the solder and iron in on top of it. And that, if I focus just on there, that is the connection which we've been and got that's on the grain pad now we need to go and do the live pad or one of the live pads so let's move that around and then we need to get that one in on here so hopefully this time we can in fact i'm going to just going to give that a quick dab of some get that in focus for you just going to give that a quick dab of some more solder and again it doesn't matter if it reaches over that looks better, right? And then we're going to go and get that one connected up now. So just making sure you can see that. Just going to push down. Thank you. This is why an extra pair of hands comes in really, really useful. Cool. That's really hot now. There we go. So happy days. So we've got that soldered up now. Again, see if I can focus in. If it will focus. There you go. That's a lovely little connection on there. I'm just going to visually inspect that. Looks like a really good connection uh, on there. And again, the ground one looks fantastic as well. So let's move these cables around. So uh, you'll see me bending it around like so. So typically that's going to be uh, sat on it on the on a board somewhere in our model itself and then we've got a power connector which connects to our battery now we need to think about our ESC and you'll see that this wire is just poking off uh, in its own direction and that's why I've not done the red wire yet because what I'm going to do is just I'm going to put my finger on there go out to the end of wherever we are there mark it or hold it with my fingernail and then clip it with the snippers quickly strip the end of the cable off same for the other end as well. No, I did make a bit of a mistake. I pre-tinned one of the uh, the one of the black wires or one of the grain wires, so that's going to make it fun when we go to stab that in on the actual uh, XT60 connector itself. So I'm just going to nip that down because it's too long. Let's move that out of the way. Let's pre-tin one of these. Again, cheat wherever possible and use a bit of uh, flux on there because it really does help the solder flow. Uh, and let's see if I can make sure I can, this is done around on the camera. Again, lots and lots of solder on that end. Brilliant. There we go. Again, I hope that was in focus for you. Right. So let's go and get that soldered onto the board now. Like so. And this one. Again, that black one is going to be in the way for you. So I'm just going to 
hold that out of the way see if that's on camera yeah and the idea is is that you just put your solder and iron in on top wait for it to to catch and then it it will all melt together there we go oh fantastic nice shiny joint which we've got on there happy days so I'll quickly show there we go it does actually look better in real life in fact I'm not really happy that there again I don't know where you can see that there's a little black line in there what I'm actually going to go and do is just give that a dose of more solder and the thing is is that all we're trying to do is just measure the volt well what the board's doing is measuring the voltage drop over the resistor so you can solder right onto the sides of the uh, resistor if you wanted to so don't worry don't panic if it's uh, spilled over I'm just gonna get in there it's not working out very well Yeah, that's better. I'm more, I'm happier about that now. Again, I'll just move that around on the camera, so you can see that's a really good connection on there now. Right, and the last task is uh, we need to go and connect up our Mel XTC connector onto these two pins here, which go then go on to go onto our ESC. So one thing which you must not forget to do is put the cover on. And again, if you do, if you're not using those XT60 connectors, which have which don't have the covers, then remember to stick your insulation tape down on those. Uh, again, this is where I'm going to cheat and use one of those, the helping hands. And make sure it's the right way around, flat edge on that side. Thank you. Give it a quick dose with some flux. Thank you. Right. Can you hold that there for me, please, beautiful? Right, let's get in there. And, oh. It's awkward with the iPad in the bloody way. I'm just trying to fill that up, make sure there's a nice connection. I'll sort it all the way around. Fantastic. So that still. So it just just hit the camera. Brilliant. Right. Again, to make things easy, we're going to turn the connector around. Like so. There we go. You hold that in there. Right, this one should be easier, he says, because it's got the uh, it's already been pre-tinned. Right, let's get the solder in. Arrange like so. Come on, get in there. Ah, and there you go, it's gone. Blow on it. There it is. Move that out of the way. Fantastic. So Thank you for that poppet. There you go. There's that one connected up. Ah, I don't know if you can see this. Can you just see? Just there, there's a little thread of positive cable floating out the way. So I'm just going to push that in. And it probably won't cause any issues because a wire that thin uh, will just arc and burn itself out if it did connect. But uh, just be careful of that. And that's why you should always inspect uh, your uh, connections. So, there we go, there's the v Omnibus V2 board, uh, all soldered up. Quick rundown, we've got our battery connector down there, so flat side is red, so that goes all the way around, and then goes to the top of our board just up there, so that's where BAT Plus is. Then for our ground wire, oh sorry, let's carry on with the positive, so we've then got a positive come out, and it goes to the flat side on another XT60 XT connector, which then goes onto our ESC. That now means that this board can, uh, if I spit my words out, can now measure the current being used by the board. A little tip for you, those of you which want to run a separate FPV system or, or want to make sure that your video transmitter and things like that uh, are 
actually being counted correctly by the board itself is that it's on the ESC connector, this MEL connector, where you can solder on uh, maybe a couple of servo connectors uh, for the positive and negative so you can get full battery voltage out to your video transmitter and of course then onto your uh, FPV camera as well. And then for the ground, the ground comes from the battery plug itself, goes across, we've got a nice split in there, looks fantastic underneath a bit of heat shrink, uh, goes round, gets soldered onto the bottom of the board and of course also just, just gets like daisy chained on I'll go straight through to the ESC connector as well. So I hope you found this episode helpful. That's how I solder up uh, the V2 boards. Now I am going to be 100% honest with you. What I am going to go and do in a moment is that on this ESC connector, I'm going to do exactly what I just mentioned. And uh, I'll tell you what, you've been here for a few minutes anyway. I might as well show you uh, is that I do have a little bag of spare servo connectors, which are here. And what I am going to go and do is maybe grab that one, like so. Now, I do want to wrap a Tory coil around that, like so. So I've got a spare servo connector. I'm going to go and find another one out of this bag of uh, servo wires, which I've got here. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is take these. I'm actually going to coil both of them around a Tory coil. You know the green coils which you get on an ESC wrap it around in those uh, and then what I am going to do is just tack, the, pull that back off, push the wires down the back of there and then just tack these wires uh, onto the connector which is underneath here so that any power which is used by any other devices, the video transmitter and uh, say the FPV camera, it's still being measured uh, by that resistor on the board and I'm doing that directly from the main power lines and not using any like voltage off the boards itself. And the reason for that is that if you're using this in a flying wing, then you're gonna have two servos connected and a receiver. But if you're using this board with something like a mini Talon, for example, then you're gonna be using all the PWM outputs. So that's not ideal. So when it comes to uh, powering your FPV system, I do like to hijack off the back of the ESC connector. Uh, and like I said, what I'll do in a moment is just go and strip, put a Tory core on this connector, on this wire, uh, and then just tack it down on top of the wires underneath here. Howdy, it's Matt. Now I was just editing the video and I thought, hang on, I've not shown you the full picture. So this is what I'm gonna show you right now. And I'll cut back to where we were a few moments ago, uh, is that what you'll see here is that I've got two uh, female connectors. And the reason why I'm using female connectors is because the Runcam FPV cameras, which I use, uh, they, uh, you just use normal uh, male servo connectors, so I can plug that into one of these uh, and that will power the Runcam FPV camera. And then the video transmitters, which I use, I'll use a uh, male servo connector to power that in there. And of course the yellow lead or the white lead, which I've chopped off these, uh, that's going to be the video signal. And of course that would then actually go into the flight controller board uh, on these uh, AV pins just up here. Okay, now what I've then done, I've just been to splice them together like you saw me do earlier. Uh, I do have one of these little green Tory co coils, which uh, I'm sure you can nick. If you don't have any of those in your arsenal, uh, you can either buy them off eBay or you can nick them one off an ESC, for example. And then down on the actual connector itself, hope for that focus is like so, is that I've just been and piggyback that on the end of there. Not the best solder in the world, but we'll push the cap down and we've been in hidden all of that. <laughs> so there you go, I'll cut back to where we were. So with that said, for myself, Matt, that's what I do with my uh, V2 boards. I hope you found this episode helpful. Uh, and with that said, any questions, comments, or etc., etc., let me know in the comments section underneath this video. And as always, for myself, Matt, cheerios. And a big thank you to my helper. Bye. <laughs> Smiley face. See you later. Bye-byes.